Welcome back to another Music Gear Monday. I'm Carl Carell, and today we are talking about downsizing our large format speakers, these JBLs behind me, to some iLoud MTM speakers. Smaller, but still very powerful, portable studio monitors. I'm going to show you how I set them up and what they look like on my desktop and why they might benefit you. So let's hop into it. Let's check it out. Well, I already unboxed them, but I'm going to show you what comes in the box and how to set them up. So in the box includes one speaker each. They come with a stand and a screw, which allows you to mount to the stand and then a rubberized stand for setting them uh, sideways. So if you want to have them vertically, you have the arched stand to put it on. And then if you want to put them horizontal, you have this rubberized stand to place them on. So depending on your desk setup and what's optimal for you, you have different options. They come with this arc microphone, which is going to be that arc system that helps you correct your sound to your room, which we'll get into. And then a cable, which is an XLR cable on one side and a little eighth inch on the other side that connects to the back of your speaker that allows you to basically run that arc system. They don't come with a USB cable, but you're gonna need a USB cable to plug them in and update them. Other than that, the instructions are there. There's a handy little QR code for you to be able to download the IK Multimedia software to manage and register your speakers. One of the standout features of these speakers is the ARC technology, the advanced room correction system. It allows the speakers to read the room and give you the most accurate reproduction that you can get in your space. The built-in ARC software makes it easy to set them up, get an accurate reading of your room and get to the sweet spot. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to IK Multimedia's website, download the drivers, download the software updates. You're gonna wanna download them, then plug your speakers in, power them on and follow the instructions on updating the firmware in each speaker and you do have to do them one at a time so to set these guys up and get an accurate reading of your room you're going to want to use the built-in arc system which comes with this arc microphone here you're going to want to plug this guy in with the cable it came with which is xlr on one side and a little little eighth inch jack on the other side plug this guy in you put it on a microphone stand in the sweet spot so where your ears are going to be and then you want to aim your tweeters which are centered on these guys to your ears they say you can set these guys on stands there are little little quarter 20 adapters in the bottom they come with some rubberized stands so that you can tilt them for an optimal angle once you get them set up and you'll see a green light on your arc when you plug it in and once you hold that far left button down for a couple of seconds the uh, led indicator on the speaker starts to blink give it a couple seconds it sends out a signal this weird little frequency uh, which is going to bounce around the room and the microphone is going to read that and give your speaker uh, an accurate reading of the room to optimize the settings inside of it after you do that you're going to want to do that on both speakers individually then you're good your speakers are ready to use you're going to want to power them up run some sound see how they feel from there you should be rocking my initial impression on these speakers I hate when you have to download a bunch of software and that's just me the fact that the arc system is built into the speaker that is great the form factor of these speakers is really great they do remind me a lot of the Genelec 1080s they do have some clear highs some punchy mids and some tight low end response I do like them I like the form factor you can buy a case for them if you do want to take them around with you if you're on tour and you want to plug them up in a hotel room and mix or if you're in the tour bus or what have you these are great speakers for that 
and like I said they come with these different stands so you're able to prop them up and pop them up pretty much anywhere that is kind of one of the reasons I went for them so so far a couple days in I am impressed with the sound these speakers do get really loud if I want to get really loud but with the space that I'm in now I wanted to be more conscious of the sound that I'm creating and the speakers are great for that they allow me to be quiet but still have full sound and still hear a wide frequency range so I'm able to do a lot more with them um, so I'm interested to see you know how they're gonna stand up you know throughout the year and how they're gonna stand up for traveling as well uh, I do want to take them on the road I want to take them out to the middle of the desert out to the mountains uh, mix and work on some music from some remote locations and see how it goes so that's gonna be a great adventure and maybe I will document that as well but for now that's going to be it for today's Music Gear Monday. Let me know what you think of the MTMs. Is it something you're interested in? Is it something you have used before? We'll kind of keep it going from there. We'll catch you guys next week on another Music Gear Monday. Peace. Oh, last thing, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy any of this content. It helps out the channel, helps me out very much. Yeah, more great content very soon. Drop a comment below. Let me know how you're doing out there.